Hello everyone and welcome back to Speed Typing. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the differences between the Dvorak and QWERTY keyboard layouts, the origins of both, and at the end of this video, I'm going to be making a decision on which keyboard layout you should be using today. So make sure that you watch this video till the end. Now, first of all, I'm going to start this video off by talking about the origins of typing in the first place. And obviously typing started out with the typewriter. And the first keyboard layout that was used for the typewriter was simply based off of alphabetical order of letters. And this worked for the time being, and there were many variants of this that arose that were used for the typewriter, but ultimately they all faced the same common problem, and that was that if you have key combinations that were too close to each other on a typewriter that the typewriter would commonly jam. And this is where QWERTY first originated. And QWERTY did this effectively was it spread out those letters that you typed often so that you no longer would see jams on a typewriter. And this is why QWERTY was effectively the king of keyboard layouts for the time being while it was used on typewriters. But as time went on, we started to see the fall of the typewriter and the rise of the modern keyboard that we still use today. And this is where the creator of Dvorak saw an opportunity, because he realized that the QWERTY keyboard layout was designed to stop the male functions in typewriters. But he also saw that QWERTY was not efficient when it comes to actually increasing your typing speed. And this is why he created Dvorak. Now Dvorak, instead of spreading out the most common letters used, instead centralizes them on the home row so that you can type them with ease and type them without having to move your hands around a lot. This decreases errors and this increases your typing speed, and at least it does this according to the creator of Dvorak, and I'm going to get into this a bit later. And we can have all the arguments that we want about keyboard layouts, but ultimately there is this one fact that still remains through all of it, and that is that QWERTY was created for the typewriter and Dvorak was created for the modern keyboard. The reality of the situation is that while Dvorak might be a more efficient keyboard style, it still remains the underdog. And because of this, Mac, um, Windows, all these operating systems, all these computers have been designed to center around the QWERTY typing style. That is why QWERTY is the default, is the default keyboard layout on all computers and keyboards that you get today, except for maybe a few exceptions. This is why shortcuts are centralized around QWERTY so that if you do decide to switch to the Dvorak keyboard layout, then your shortcuts are going to be all messed up. This is why with gaming you have the WASD keys. All this stuff in our world today with technologies focused around the QWERTY keyboard layout. And this is the biggest problem that the Dvorak keyboard layout has failed to overcome, and that is that QWERTY has become so widespread that it is very hard for another keyboard layout to try to, to, try to beat QWERTY. And while Dvorak might be more efficient in typing speed and typing accuracy, overall it just doesn't have the same widespread reach that QWERTY does, and QWERTY has already embedded itself firmly in our society today, even though it was designed originally for a typewriter. Furthermore, while Dvorak does increase your speed and it does increase your accuracy, more modern studies have shown that Dvorak doesn't actually increase to it to a very large extent. So this, the difference in speed and accuracy between QWERTY and Dvorak actually isn't as large as it first was thought to be. And this is where I'm going to be making my conclusion. A lot of you guys, if you're watching this video, you can already see where this is going, but I still want to paint it very clear that Dvorak is a more efficient typing style for speed and it is much more efficient for accuracy. But QWERTY has embedded itself in our society today. It is very hard for you to switch over to Dvorak and I would suggest that if you want to use Dvorak at all, you're going to be have to you're going to have to be making some changes like daily. For example, if you're going to be playing a game that uses the WASD keys, you're going to have to switch back to the QWERTY layout. If you want to practice on typing or type out a paragraph, you're going to have to switch to the Dvorak layout. If you're going to be doing some programming, you're probably going to have to switch back to the QWERTY layout. So you have all this manual switching back and forth between QWERTY and Dvorak, but if you want to learn Dvorak and if you want to type with Dvorak, it is better in the long term for accuracy and speed, but overall it's going to take more effort if you want to type with the work because you are going to have to switch back to QWERTY in those scenarios. That being said, it's not like you have to unlearn QWERTY to learn Dvorak, it's simply like learning another language. If I, for example, learned French, then I'm not going to be unlearning English first because they have they have things that overlap with them, so it's not like you're going to be forgetting QWERTY if you switch to Dvorak. So even if this is just to try to learn Dvorak and test it out, I would totally recommend it because you're not going to be hurting your QWERTY typing at all. 
And if you're suffering from repetitive strain injuries, I'm not exactly sure what the what the term is for that. But if your if your wrists are starting to feel, um, if your wrists are hurting from typing with a QWERTY style, then that is one of the situations that I would recommend definitely switching over to the Dvorak style because it's found to reduce repetitive strain injuries because your fingers aren't moving around on the keyboard as much. In the end, though, in terms of getting work done online, in terms of efficiency with your speed and your accuracy, if you're a current user of QWERTY then stick with QWERTY. I wouldn't recommend switching to Dvorak, but if you want to just try out a keyboard style, I myself might just try out Dvorak one day just to see how it works. If you're someone who already types fast with, with Dvorak, I would say that you have no reason to switch over because you're already someone who uses it, and you're probably someone who could easily make the switch for those keyboard shortcuts and you figure out ways to solve those problems. But if you're someone who's just starting out with typing, I would recommend just sticking with the QWERTY layout. It's going to simplify a lo lo lots of things for you in the long run, and ultimately QWERTY is still something that our society is going to be using for the foreseeable future. Subscribing really helps out the channel, so please hit the subscribe button and comment down below what keyboard style you use. If you're interested in these types of videos and you want to see some more videos on other keyboard layouts, like Colmac, I'm going to be doing a video on that in the future, so make sure that you hit post notifications when you do subscribe so you don't miss out on those types of videos. I type 150 words per minute using the QWERTY keyboard layout, and if you want to learn how to type this fast, I have linked down below in the description a playlist of all my typing tips videos so that you can become a faster typer yourself. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and have a great day.